Moody. Now it's always a pretty view from our Indian Wells cam, but I want you to pay very close attention to some of the shading off in the distance and then the missing mountain we've got there. Uh, that would be because of reduced visibility. You can tell kind of a lot of sand and dust in the air and in the atmosphere, reducing air quality. It's moderate for the West Valley, but down to unhealthy for sensitive groups in the East Valley. A bigger concern for all those folks that are out at the polo grounds this evening and boy are there plenty of them that have been contending with this wind out farther to the west and whitewater a peak wind gust earlier today at 64 miles per hour not too far off desert hot springs at 54 miles per hour and keeping things between 50 down to 40 miles per hour if you were in north palm springs cathedral city or sky valley lesser winds for pretty much everyone else but still particularly strong for today, and that has been tossing a lot of sand and dust up in the air. Temperatures have been falling over the last couple hours down to the lower end of the 80s. At least those are comfortable, but you just can't win with this wind. Right now, a 23 mile per hour wind speed recorded out of the northwest for Palm Springs. Clear skies, but hard to see them over all that sand and dust. Even stronger winds looking out toward thermal 25 mile per hour peak wind gusts. Now, we are going to continue to watch our winds calm down over the next couple of hours. It's just going to take us some time. By 8 p.m., still looking at a couple hot spots in there of those strong winds but as we continue into the later evening hours and into tomorrow morning winds will be on the decline so it should be pretty nice by the time we make it into our Sunday morning a little bit breezy Sunday afternoon even Sunday evening not looking too bad you'll just continue to notice some of that wind through whitewater and into desert hot springs as we continue into Monday some more changes to be aware of in the morning hours getting a little bit breezier something you want to keep in mind given all of those out-of-town visitors that will be back on the roads heading to the West this time, most likely. As we continue into the evening hours, those winds will strengthen once again with that onshore flow, and we're actually going to see a few rounds of wind as we look ahead toward this next week. So again, keep all that in mind when it comes to being out on the roadways, that not only will you have additional traffic, but you'll have additional wind with it. Temperatures for tomorrow, whether you're going out to the polo grounds or maybe you're enjoying a fun Easter egg hunt, We'll be up in the 90s by the time we make it to the afternoon hour, so try and get in all that fun outdoor activity maybe a little bit earlier in the day and just be prepared to deal with those 90s as we get into the later half of the day, whether that means uh, taking account of that candy that could be melting or whatever it is that you're going to be out and about doing. We're looking at 92 degrees for a daytime high on your Sunday. Mid to upper 90s for Monday, a little bit warmer, a little bit more wind, cooler temperatures as we make it toward the end of the week. Bailey's got sports after the break. You're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader.